This week, KPBS released a series of reports about the Port of San Diego's maritime operations. This division oversees the transporting of goods to San Diego. For the past 15 years, marine operations has run at a loss of about $80 million. But as KPBS reporter Amitha Sharma discovered, a shift in accounting is showing a profit. Amitha's here to explain what's going on. So Amitha, what is going on? What did you find? Well, I looked at the budget dating back to 1993, and as you mentioned, um, the port's maritime operations lost $80 million since 1993. The port was very straightforward about those losses in the 1990s, but starting in 2000, the port started leaving out certain expenses for maritime operations like general and administrative and depreciation in the budgets it was showing to the public. In fact, in the budgets it was showing to the public, it made it appear as if maritime operations was running out of profits. So where were those bottom line cash flow figures for maritime operations? Well, those figures were contained in internal management reports um, that the public didn't see. You know, this sounds like it would be of interest to an accountant. Why is it important to us? It's very important because maritime operations is one of two major sources of revenue for the Port of San Diego. So if you want to know how maritime operations is doing, you really need to see all of the losses. But it also is about accountability and transparency. The Port of San Diego controls more than five thousand acres of tidelands in the region. Um, and those tidelands, tidelands belong to the people of California. You can make the argument that informed citizens make informed choices. And the fact that they're not showing all the losses in maritime to the public raises the question about whether they're trying to control the message the public hears about maritime operations. And I should say that I actually did go back and look at the budgets since 1963. And with very few exceptions, Exceptions, maritime has always lost money. And well, there's some people who say that, look, if you're going to fence out the public, wall off this, this prime waterfront real estate from the public, do you not have an obligation to make money off of that property? And what do they say? I mean, you, you, you did the investigation, you did the research, you went to the port. What did they have to say about well, it? Well, I talked to the Port of San Diego, and they said, yes, we have lost money, but, you know, we started making money. Maritime operations started making money as of three years ago. But as of four years ago, the port started transferring several million dollars in real estate uh, from the real estate division into maritime operations. So some people say, look, that profit would have never even existed if you hadn't transferred the money. But the port says, listen, the larger argument is the port at San Diego's maritime operations is responsible for pumping hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue to the local economy through jobs, tourism. And they say that every big city has relied on maritime operations to build up its economy. Just, just briefly, uh, the port's made up of five cities. What are their concerns about all of this? They have varying concerns. The city of San Diego says, look, you know, we bring in the lion's share of money to the port of San Diego from the least money that it gets from real estate uh, on the waterfront. And yet we get the least amount of money in return from the port to pay for things like police and fire. The city of National City says, you know, we don't have one inch of access to our bayfront because the terminal is there. And they want to see more development that can bring in more revenue to them. And the city of Chula Vista says, look, we've been waiting for ages to see more development on our waterfront, and we haven't seen it. Okay, well, I thank you very much, Amitha Sharma. Thank you. Joining me now to weigh in with their opinions about how the port operates are John Warren, editor and publisher of San Diego Voice and Viewpoint, and Michael Smolens, politics editor of the San Diego Union. So, Michael, what does this lack of transparency say about the way the port operates? Well, I, I think a lot of governments try to do that, uh, maybe not in this fashion, but uh, they always want to present the best picture. This, as Amitha had reported, seems to go a little bit beyond the pale and not giving the true, uh, you know, picture of the, the, how the books are balanced. I also sort of wonder whether the, you know, the port had been so focused on the real estate and the hotel revenue that uh, for the longest time the maritime operations have been 
sort of the second uh, banana with the port. And I just wonder whether that doesn't play into the fact that it hasn't been doing that well historically, despite potentially some recent uh, improvements. That sounds very kind of Michael, doesn't it, John? What do you think? Do you think that the culture of the port needs some changing to make it more accountable? Well, there's no question the port has been a self-contained entity for a very long time with very few people raising questions about it. The very structure there uh, lends itself to that in terms of members being selected from different cities and the cities themselves not feeling that they have any real input. So I think that uh, there's a real question here because no matter how you cut this, it amounts to an effort to withhold information from the public that otherwise might influence how people feel, and I think that's wrong. Well, why should the public know? I mean, what, would this, what difference does it make if the public knows or doesn't know? Well, it's not a question of why should they know as much as it's an issue that they have a right to know. If it were the city council or if it was CCDC or any other entity, we would be very upset and concerned in terms of not having all the facts. So why should we not be equally concerned about the port, even though it says it has allegiance to the state as opposed to the people in the cities? So here we have uh, seven port commissioners, Michael, who are appointed by the five member cities. Would it be better if they were elected? Well, I don't know, but that does create a different dynamic, as John had, had mentioned, that they are appointed, they don't seem as accountable. Most people don't know really what the port is, um, but uh, they shouldn't lose sight of the fact we own that property. The public owns uh, that whole operation, and the port for a long time, I think, has long acted like uh, kind of a quasi-private organization, and it's a, sort of a mystery to a lot of people. And I think because of that and because of the lack of attention it gets, you see these kinds of accounting procedures. But a lot of people feel as though it's better to conduct negotiations and business behind closed doors, oh, not out in and, public. And I think even public agencies have that right in certain respects. But this is about their budget and about, you know, what kind of revenue they're, they're taking in and what their expenditures. Uh, we wouldn't stand for that uh, at the city, at the state level, and I'm sure we don't know all that's going on there, but uh, transparency is key to the public understanding as to how well they're operating, and clearly they've been trying to sort of uh, paper over a little bit of some of their shortcomings. Well, finally, John, I mean, what does this really all mean to the people of San Diego? So what? Well, most of the people probably will say so what at this point because they don't see dollars coming back to any existing programs that need them. They don't see any changes that affect them directly. The port is still a contained entity there. We're still trying to increase the volume of business. And most people here do not understand what kind of items come in in terms of commodities or where they come from or the relationship of what we get here compared to San Pedro uh, in, in the L.A. area. So people just need to be educated to what's taking place.